Well, what a tumultuous weekend. You know, you know, Vaughn Winniata and I have been pushing like hell for Wayne Brown. And guess what? He got there. Vaughn's just returned back to Auckland and man, our celebration's just about to start. Welcome, Vaughn. Yeah, I missed out on all the action over the weekend. Hey, Max, just before we get on to Wayne Brown and the man of the moment, um, I have to mention the myth being made out of Auckland and that swing to the right that the media is talking about and how that's a warning shot across the bow for the Labour government and next year's central election. That's a load of crap in my mind. All that really happened in Auckland was that we'd had a guts full of a mayor who for six years was a Wellington sock puppet. We just didn't want another one. Now, Max... That's why Wayne Brown walked in with a 60,000 vote majority. Uh, would you concur with that, Max? Probably not. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, it's a great start, <laughs> isn't it? You and I disagreeing right from the outset. I think it, uh, the only people who voted uh, this election were the grey-headed people. And I think that they um, voted because they know how to post letters. And that's probably one of the issues that we, it needs to be resolved. There's mm. a lot of unthink, a lot of thinking needs to be done around the electoral process, and I think it's got something to do with it. But also, it's a worldwide phenomenon. People yeah. are not voting around the globe, and I think they're getting fed up with democracy because they spun a whole lot of BS and end up with some people are so disappointed with. Yeah, well, Jesus, for once, Max, you made some sense. That's awesome. Um, so, <laughs> for <laughs> once. <laughs> hey, Max, so, so Wayne... Uh, has been running Auckland for three days and already in those first 72 hours uh, he has achieved more and been more engaged with the people of Auckland than the former mayor Phil Goff was in six years. Uh, Phil Goff's superpower was cutting ribbons. Wayne Brown's superpower is cutting through the crap. Now, but the real question is, will Wayne Brown walk the talk that got him in? Max, there are a lot of good people uh, in the Auckland Council. I know some of them personally. Unfortunately, there is a hell of a whole lot more dead wood. The immediate focus has gone on the boards, uh, the directors of the, and the CEOs of like Auckland Council, Auckland Transport, Auckland Limited, Watercare, Panuka, and that old turd in the punch bowl, the Ports of Auckland. Now, Max, there are definitely some talented directors, but there are far too many products of the Institute of Directors sausage machine. I refer to them as governance donkeys. They smell of textbooks and workshops and not of real world lived experience. And that is precisely why I voted for Wayne Brown. He can smell a lightweight from a mile off. So will he walk the talk? Time will tell, Max. And well, I you tell and you what, Vaughan, I've got some be... good news for you there. Guess yeah. what's happened? Like 10 o'clock Saturday morning, Wayne Brown had been in the job two hours. Guess who he phones? Max Whitehead, me. And he wants to thank you and I for what we've done to help him get elected. Now, I thought that was fantastic. But Vaughan, being an opportunist, and you know the training I've had from you, so I took the opportunity and said to him, Wayne, you said to us once that you'd come back and, and let Vaughan and I talk to you on a regular basis after you're elected. To, and he said, yeah, because my words were to you that you can check to make sure that I've fulfilled my, oblig my, my promises. Well, he's coming back, Vaughan. He's going to come back. We go back probably on a monthly basis, and he'll come back and talk to you and me. And we can ask how much progress he's making. Well, Max, you know, that's music to my ears. So I guess all I can say, will Wayne Brown walk the talk? And I guess the thing is now that you and I are going to be all over that like two monkeys on a box of bananas. And listen, brother, you've got to call him your worship. I can, I reckon he'd hate that, but I reckon we've got to do that the first time he gets here, and that'll really upset him. <laughs> hey, Max, that's enough from me, bro. All right, guys. Cheers. See you next Catch time, boy.